y'all welcome back in this video I'm going to show you how to make a really simple bow out of wire etched ribbon I get my ribbon at the Dollar Tree it has nine feet on the spool it's two and a half inches wide which is pretty you know pretty decent for a buck you're going to need that you're going to need an old pair of scissors and you're going to need a piece of floral wire or in this case I'm going to be using a pipe cleaner a Chanel stem whatever you want to call it <laughs> mine is all sparkly and red doesn't have to be because you're not really going to see it um, so basically what I did for this wreath is I made it, <laughs> I made it out of like Swiffer duster refill things from the Dollar Tree. If you have not seen that video, I'll put a link to that down below so that you can see how I made this wreath. But basically what I did is I tried to decide how big I wanted my bow to be. So I just pulled some ribbon off of the spool. I just held it up against my wreath like this. And I was like, yeah, I want it to be about that wide. So if you were going to put this bow on a package, you know, a gift, you would do the same thing. Just lay it out on your package or whatever, just to see, you know, about how wide you want it. Once you get the width, just bend the ribbon a little bit right there and mark it. Okay, now let's get the wreath out of the way. Okay, now this is really super simple. All you're going to do is lay your ribbon down just like this. See, this is your tail end. This is the right side of the ribbon, and the wrong side of the ribbon is folded against itself like that. Now, all you're going to do is just keep folding your ribbon over itself just like that. And try to get your, your ends perfectly in line, okay? Let's unroll some more ribbon and just flip it over. Just keep flipping it until you get as many loops as you want. And hold on, as soon as I get mine folded here, I'll show you what I mean by loops. Okay, you know that bows, you know, have the big loops on them. And once you have some of your ribbon folded like this, if you look at it, you see this part right here? That's gonna be one loop, okay? This is gonna be another loop. So basically, all I did is I just kept folding my ribbon over on itself just like this until I run out of ribbon because I like my bows really full and fluffy so I just kept on you know folding 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 I'm gonna put the spool on the floor so it's not as loud I just kept folding my ribbon over and over and over on itself trying to keep my edges straight together it's hard to do at this angle you know on film but I just keep folding it Keep folding it. And I'm just about out of here. Oh, that was just about perfect. Look at that. <laughs> now I'm going to take my scissors and just trim off the edge like that. Okay. Now that I have this folded, what I'm going to do is you want to take it and kind of fold it in half and try to determine about where the center is. Okay. Just going to bend these just a little bit to help determine where the center is. Now that we have our center take your scissors now don't cut straight across okay you want to cut at an angle like this because if you cut straight across you run the risk of accidentally snipping through the middle of your ribbon and ruining your bow so start right here where you made that crease marking the center of your ribbon and just cut at a very slight angle about a third of the way through like that okay about a third of the way through I just turn it like this, flip it over, and let's make another cut at another slight angle, of course, about a third of the way through. See? And now you have that little piece of ribbon in the middle that has not been cut through. That is where you want to put your piece of wire or your Chanel stem, whatever you're using. Just put it through just like that. See, I'm just kind of working it through there, just like that. Now, you just want to twist it, twist it, twist it, get it tight, like this. That's going to hold your bow together, okay? And now, all you do is just start fanning out your petals, your loops, whatever you want to call them. Just start fanning those out and fluffing them up. And that is how I make my really simple bow. 
really if you're if you're doing it at home you know you're not having to follow a video you know or gonna make a video you can actually make one of these bows in right around five minutes you know just the the longest part of it is you know just kind of fluffing these out and shaping them and getting them to look exactly how you want them and they're really easy to maneuver that is why you cut those little those little notches into the ribbon you know um once you get them all folded and everything that's why you cut that notch because it allows you to twist and maneuver and place your loops right where you want them if you don't cut those little notches then you have a really really hard time trying to form your bow you can just hang on to your your wire whatever you're using because that's what you're going to use to attach it to you to your wreath to your item or whatever and just keep fluffing just like that now you know your first time i know the first time i made a bow it took me a good 20 minutes to get my loops the way i wanted them but you know just keep messing with it just keep messing with it and folding and you can pick one out that you want to be the center you know bring it toward the center and fluff it out like i did for the one on my wreath but that is all i do just keep fluffing and fluffing and fluffing and <laughs> rearranging your loops until they look the way you want them to and that's how i make my bows i'll bring the one from the wreath up again as you can see that's how it looks you know once i played with this one for a few minutes so and that is it i also have a video up on how to make a bow a flat bow with non-wired ribbon and it's basically the same as this but if you want to watch that video please go ahead i'll link to that one down below as well so if you want please please click that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up please check me out on my website and on facebook the links to both of those are in the description box down below i hope to see y'all next time bye